Hang on, we see Hillasang rolling to the bottom lane, no vision. He just has to respect. He's gonna run into the cow. Oh, knocks him against the wall to start things up. And Kikis gets knocked <laughs> over it. But <laughs> right into right Fox. In is he gonna send the hammer out? It knocks a couple away, then he turns on to oh, Steel well played. Perks is coming in, <laughs> and he picks up Steel back right off the back of that one. Choco can't take this for long. A double kill to Perks. Hill is saying, unbreakable will, but how unbreakable is he? Got a flash away. And Perks above in the of your screen right there, chasing Fox, and what a beautiful team fight here from G2. Creative use of the Poppy ultimate, and then knock back into the wall, completely surprising unicorns. Fox drops oh. down, G2 oh. kill, another one. They're in control of this game. And this is the thing, as soon as you can get them split off, going through these small corridors, this is where the Siege and Poke kind of champions work best. There's so little room to maneuver, and you have the numbers advantage. You can just continue to keep things going. And G2, they came from Challenger. The other team that came from Challenger, Splice, looking on in the bottom of your screen, looking at G2 potentially taking the spot at the top of the table. Hang on, hang on. This is risky. This is very risky because they're playing a poke composition trapped in a little cage here against a team fight comp. This may be the throw that the Unicorns are looking for. Hilly knocks Emperor over, but he comes right back on in. Everyone's low in the Baron Pitman. Hilly, he might be the first to fall. No, he's not. Smite Actually, he is. It's going to be Trick that gets taken down. The Baron's low, but they've got no Smite. Hybrid's out of there, and Unicorns turn around. Can they pick this Baron up? I think so. Jump with no the Smite Jump there. It's going over. It the goes unicorns. to Fox. The Unicorns with a big pickup. That is the move that could turn this game on its head for the Unicorns. Now, somehow, G2 have to try and siege into the Baron buff. Right. Great use from Kickers of that ult. Yeah, just let's watch this again. So that he, he gets one escape path out of the way. Lulox out. He knocks him into the into the wall right there. Chase with the Joko, forcing Healy Flash. Fox eventually gets picked off in the top uh, of your screen. Chachi eventually dies too, but then they make the crucial mistake. They go for the spot on 20 minute Baron, which means death timers. They're not as long as you used to in the late game. And remember, you're playing a poke comp. That means repetitive poke, but that's slow on Baron, and you're playing into a team fight comp. Thank you, Observers, for speeding up. And look at this. Rek'Sai was up with the ultimate. Fiora's about to come up, and you know her teleport's available. You're keeping track of that timer, so even if the start of this fight goes well, you're gonna get cleaned up by the rest of the Unicorns of Love. Joko dying here was the maybe one saving grace from G2, but this Baron is so incredibly low. Emperor. No vision. No Did he have vision? Uh, he had two wards in there, but was just just a second too late running towards the wall to flash in. Yeah. All said and done now.